Uh, it's time for another math easy. So we're going to discuss uh, polynomial long division. Look at some examples. Basically, I showed in my earlier video, um, basically in depth look in polynomial long division. Now we're going to look at these important examples here. We'll start off with number one. Now uh, the first example of is three x cubed minus two x squared plus four x minus three, all divided by polynomial at the bottom here, uh, x squared plus three x plus three. Well, first thing you got to do is write it in the format we are accustomed to for polynomial long division. Yeah, so you would just write it down like this and uh, just regular division, long division method. So now, first thing you do is look at the highest power, in this case x squared, and this one's x cubed. So we have to just multiply a, fa a, a constant or a, or a, something here so that it equals this one. So we look at this one, x squared, so we just put times by 3x. And then we times this by every single one. Just times it all out, and we're gonna get, uh, in this case, we're gonna get 3x squared, uh, 3x cubed, that's what we want, the first one just to match up, so then we're going to subtract it so we cancel it out. And now we're going to have, let's put it over there, uh, now times this one, this one's going to be plus 9x, and then, no, 9x squared, it's 3x times that, and then plus, plus 1 is 9x, that's uh, 3x times 3. And then we subtract this whole thing from this one, so then uh, this top part's going to cancel, and now this one, negative 2 min minus 9 is going to be negative 11 squared. And this one, 4 minus 9x, this is negative 5x here. And then we drag this down, we're going to negative 3. And now we do the exact same method here. Now in this case, uh, x squared is the highest power. This one's x squared, but it's a negative 11 there, so we just times by negative 11. Just to make it equal, so we're going to have negative 11x squared times this by this, this is negative 33x and now we're gonna get this one is negative 33 so there's no x there, now we subtract all of this so we subtract all of this one, in this case this one's negative 3 minus negative so it's gonna be plus 33 so this one is gonna be 30, this is 30 here and now that this one's gonna be, well this cancels here and, and right here, negative 5 minus 33 minus negative 33 is a positive again, so we're going to have this is going to be 28x plus 30. And now, another thing I forgot to mention in my other video, but uh, when you have a, when this one here, the degree is less than this one, we can't uh, divide anymore, so we're just going to be left with the remainder here. So this is, uh, the remainder, what we would write down is the answer is going to equal to 3x minus 11 plus 28x plus plus 30, which is the remainder, and then divided by divide by whatever we were dividing by before, x squared plus 3x plus 3. So this is where we stop, and this one is just called the remainder here. And now to, uh, now you can also check this by basically multiplying uh, just the denominator by both sides. We're going to get 3x minus 11, it, uh, is copy paste here, times x squared plus 3x plus 3. This is basically what we're multiplying this out, put a bracket there. And then the plus 28x plus 30, just so we have a common denominator, we could add these together. So we expand this out, and by expanding, we just multiply this this by this, uh, this by every term, and this by every term on the right side. We get something like this. You could double check it, but this should be right here. And then we'll say 3x squared, all this. And when you look at the like terms and add them up and and see what we get. And uh, this case here, the, the 3x is by itself, so we're going to get 3x squared. Now there's 9x squared. This one. 9 minus 11, this is negative 2x squared. And now when we look at the x's only, we get, in this case, negative 33 plus 28. That's going to be negative 5. And then negative 5 plus 9x is going to be plus uh, 4x. And then when we look, look over here, there's a plus 30, and there's a negative 33. That's going to be negative 3. And then this all divided by x squared plus 3x plus 3. And this is our original uh, question here. That's our original one, 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x. Actually, I've, oh, I forgot to put a cubed here. My, my, my mistake here. That's a cubed. That's why I was looking at that. Uh, funny. Okay, so that's a cubed. That's there. Yes, yeah, so this is the correct answer. This is right. Yes, yeah, so now let's look at the part 2. I um, mean, uh, the example 2 in this case. And now we'll look at x cubed minus 1 divided by x plus 3. Two and in this case, the degree of power is twice higher than this one. Now there's there's two uh, there's uh, an x squared and x cubed, so it's two times higher, or, uh, or two degrees uh, higher. So now when we we'd write down this one, it's a bit different. 
Then the uh, other one we would write down. So we would leave space for, we would write the x cubed here. So we would leave space for a, a virtual x squared here. And then this one's going to be an x. And then we go all the way to negative 1 in this case. And now, yeah, it's going to be the same thing here. So we just leave space for, we'll just write the x squared factor and x factor, because these ones may have it. So now in this case, we look at uh, the highest power. Here's x, this one's x cubed. Well, we times it by x squared to get it. So now we times it by both. We're going to get x cubed. And this one is going to be x squared times 2. And th this would be, so this one we'll just, we'll just consider it as 0x squared. And this one has 0x. So this is this little trick. Uh, Put a squared there, and now we're gonna have this one's gonna be plus two x squared. So now we only look at the stuff we know here. We just subtract this, and this one's gonna be well, this one's gonna be just negative two x squared is zero minus two x. These cancel, and now we uh, drag down the plus zero x, and now we're gonna have look at these two highest power negative two x squared. This one's x. So now we're gonna multiply by negative two x. So now we're going to get negative 2x times by there, and then this one's going to be negative, yeah, negative 4x. So when we subtract, this one's canceled, and negative, uh, subtracting a negative is going to be positive, so we're going to get 4x in this case. And then we finally drag the negative 1 down, now the same degree of power, so we just plus 4, because we just multiply it out. To get it, we're going to get 4x, and then this one is going to be plus 8. And then when we subtract this both out, we're going to get this negative 1 minus 8. It's going to be negative 9. And our final answer is going to be, this is just going to be what we wrote above here. So x squared minus 2x plus 4, and then plus the remainder of negative 9 over x plus 2. And similarly, you could uh, check it as well by multiplying this by x plus squared, x plus 2, and then by the common denominator and add the uh, and then expanding and adding up there and this should be right you could double check that yourself and now when we look at part uh, three or example three this one's interesting as I'll show you what happens and this one is an important lesson to learn in this one so write this down exactly like above okay so we just write it down like this and then we look at the highest power x squared is x cubed and then we just put an x here that's just multiply it out there x cubed and this one's plus well this one number three x so we have to go to the 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 correct space here, we'll just put a 0x squared here and then put a 3x. Now we subtract and then we subtract here we're gonna get this one's negative 5 because negative 5x squared minus 0 is just the same thing and then subtracting here these cancel so we're just gonna be left with 5x squared plus 0x Just put this down here we're gonna get a negative 15 so now in uh, yeah now in this case, yeah in this case we just do the exact same thing as, uh, as above. Now we look at the x squared, so we times this by negative five. So then put a negative five out here, multiply both, we get a negative five x squared, and again this one's going to be a zero x, and this is going to be a negative fifteen. And now these are the exact same terms. So if we subtract them, we're just going to get zero here. This is negative fifteen minus negative fifteen zero. This one zero. So we have zero remainder, or yeah, this is basically the remainder is zero in here, and then here's another thing that we could find out if we write this down, including this this so-called remainder, because the, the answer is going to be negative, it's going to be just x minus 5, so it equals x minus 5 here, or you could write it as plus 0 over x squared plus 3. And now if we multiply both sides by the denominator, we're going to get, I'll just write the whole thing down. I just wrote the, the initial equation there, and then we're just going to multiply both sides by x, x squared plus 3. We're going to get x minus 5, x squared plus 3. And when we add it, yeah, it's going to be the common denominator, x plus 3. And remember, yeah, then these cancel, you're going to be left with this. But then what this shows now is that this top function here, this one I'll just... This one here, it equals this here. And basically what we did, yeah, so it just equals this. So this is factoring. This is basically all factoring is. So we learned that basically if the remainder is 0, so this is if, yeah, let's call R is 0 here. This is a special case here where it's factored. And I'll show another video how you could factor random stuff. So if you know how to factor, you could skip this entire step here. 
this entire uh, division step and just basically factor and then cancel, you'd be x minus 5 here. Because when you expand this out, it's going to equal to this. And just another note on factoring, when you factor, you're going to have just a higher, there's just going to be a more complex equation like this to a two simpler ones. And simpler, I mean just lower degrees. In this case, uh, x cubed is the highest, this one's x squared is the highest. Well, that's all for it. I hope you learned uh, from these examples. Uh, the example three is really important. Just and uh, yeah, just that th you could factor when it's remainder zero. I'm gonna do another video on factoring, just because it's uh, it's used all the time, but not not too many people really understand it fully. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.